Hi, everyone. It's Sandra, your WFG sales executive, also Assemblywoman Sandra Howdy, who represents Assembly District 41, and bringing your weekly, bringing you your weekly educational video. And I'm still sticking with my theme since we're still recently out of the legislative session, and I'm still covering bills that were passed that impact our industry. And so today, I want to focus on Assembly Bill 392, which was primarily sponsored by its primary sponsor, Assemblywoman Haiti Kasama, who is also one of our industry owned. She is the broker office manager of Berkshire Hathaway off Twain. Um, this bill was also co-sponsored by myself and Assemblyman Berker, who are also industry professionals. So let's go ahead and dive into Assembly Bill 392. Let's share my screen so we can bring up the bullet points. Okay, here we are. Assembly Bill 392. It was originally introduced as Assembly Bill 392. It made its way through the Assembly and the Senate. And while it was over in the Senate, we took um, Assembly Bill 392 was taken and put into Senate Bill 355. So I will place the link below to both um, bills in case you would like to read it. If you just want to read Assembly Bill 392, go to the link below that says Assembly Bill 392. If you would like to see um, Senate Bill 355 in its entirety, um, there's more in that bill than just 392, which we're covering today. So Assembly Bill 392 deals with deceptive trade practices known as and traps, which are non-title recorded agreements for personal services. We had Sylvia with the Nevada Land Title Association come in and dive deep into these and what they are. But basically, here's a quick rundown. Here's what it happened. Um, Assemblywoman Haiti Kasama in her brokerage noticed that one of her agents, when he listed and sold a property, when they went to open title and escrow, there was a lien on the property. And there was a lien on the property for a 40-year listing agreement. That has become common practice. These companies are popping up. Um, they are advertising online and preying on homeowners who need quick cash. And what they are doing is they are advertising online. If you allow them to perform a CMA, a comparative market analysis on your home, they will pay you, the homeowner, $500 to $1,000. Remember, these are usually done free by real estate agents, right? But there are homeowners who might be in a position where they need some quick cash and they fall prey or victim to these online predators who are advertising that they will give them a check to provide them with a comparative market analysis. And so they do. And they sign it over. They give them the cash. And then what they do is they go and they take this document and record it with the county. And what this document is, it's actually an agreement for a 40 year listing that's recorded and as a lien on the property. And what these agreements do is they require upon sale of the property, if you do not use this real estate company who paid you for the CMA, if you do not use them and you use another, um, sell it on your own, then you have to pay them 3% commission. And some agreements say if there is no brokerage involved, then you have to pay them 6% commission. So this has been happening. We've seen it on a few escrows where um, we find these liens that have been recorded and that 3% or 6% has to be paid, depending on what that agreement says, to that real estate company. And so what ends up happening is this agent who has gone, met with the sellers, you know, gone over listing agreements, taken pictures held open houses, ad paid to advertise the property, put it on the MLS, got the property sold, open escrow, ends up not getting any commission because that commission has to be paid to the real estate company who had the real the 40 year listing agreement. Currently right now in Nevada, it is estimated that we have about 800 of these agreements in existence. And so what Assembly Bill 392 does is it outlaws the practice of these recorded agreements by making them unenforceable by law uh, for any new agreements. Now, there is existing agreements, right? And so we had to address those as well. And so what how Assemblywoman Haiti Kasama addressed these was by saying that for any previously recorded agreements, and remember there's about 800 of them in the state of Nevada, primarily most of them in Clark County, it gives them a year to record something new. And if they don't record a new document within a year, it is now deemed unenforceable. So something to be on the lookout for. Again, Assembly Bill 392, as it's originally 
um, introduce Senate Bill 355, how it passed, but something to be on the lookout. If you are going on a listing appointment, make sure you're ordering lien summaries from your sales executive so you can get a head start at looking at what's recorded on the property. I'm very grateful to Assemblywoman Heidi Kasama for introducing this bill and asking Assemblyman Gurr and myself to co-sponsor it with her. Um, she did all of the heavy lifting, but again, a good piece of legislation that came out from this legislative session that's meant to protect our industry and most importantly, protect our sellers who were falling um, victim to these predatory um, agreements. So if you guys have any questions, as always, let me know and stay tuned till next week.